When you start your air conditioning system, are your lights dimming? If your lights are dimming, then there could be a problem. Today, I wanna to help you to save money and to make your air conditioning system last longer. Today, you're watching Tips for Homeowners. I am Tad, and I'm gonna to try to help you to learn more about your air conditioning system. So your air conditioning system has a compressor, and this is the biggest motor in the air conditioning system usually, and it pulls the most amperage or the most current. This is where your problem lies. This is actually what's causing the lights to dim in the home usually. And I'm going to teach you about what you can do to try to help this compressor to last longer and to keep it from dimming your lights. Now, first I want to tell you there's full load amps and uh, or rated load amps and there is locked rotor amps. And locked rotor amps is what this compressor pulls when it first starts turning the rotor. So full load amps is established after the compressor starts. And the locked rotor amperage is usually two to six times that of the full load amps. I'm gonna show you right here on this tabular data sheet. Let's go look at a three ton unit. This is a three ton unit, max overcurrent protection right here, max overcurrent amps is 30. That means this uh, equipment should have a, have a 30 amp double pole breaker. Now, if we go to the Compressor amps, we see rated load amps, okay, and locked rotor. Now, if you look at rated load amps, we have 14.7, and that's what our compressor should be pulling when it's running. Then we look at locked rotor amps, and it says 78. You see that? So it takes 78 amps for the compressor to start. Now, that is why sometimes the compressors can cause the lights to dim, because you're pulling a lot of current and that is pulling through your electrical box. So what can we do? So what you can do is you can have an HVAC company that you use, have a technician come by and check your starting components and make sure that they're working properly. This is a start capacitor. This is used to start the compressor and it's rated for certain microfarads. 324 to 365, 356 is what this is rated for. So when you uh, check it with a meter, that's what we should be reading. This is a potential relay. A potential relay is used for dropping the start winding out after it, it has uh, established the rotor turning and it's reached a threshold of voltage. This is called a hard start kit. And it's basically the relay and the start capacitor all in one. And this is an accessory that a lot or a starting apparatus that a lot of companies use on the go they have them stocked as a part on their service vehicle and this is something they can install to help your equipment to run more efficiently if your capacitor is going bad then that can definitely cause this compressor not to start efficiently if your potential relay is stuck this can not only affect the equipment's longevity the compressor's longevity but it, it can also keep it from uh, starting so you have a hard start kit so if you ever have this capacitor goes bad and potential relay you can just replace it with this device usually price ranges around 50 to 60 dollars but you guys have got to know that this current from this compressor can definitely cause your lights to dim it's very good that you get maintenance one time a year that way you can make sure that you don't have any bad faulty components and if you get these components checked and you make sure that you have a good starting apparatus. If you don't have one, you need to have one installed. Uh, typical service call and part could be around 150, uh, maybe $200 depending on your area. But this is gonna keep your equipment uh, running tip top shape and your compressor is very expensive. So if you have a compressor go out, it could easily cost a thousand dollars for the compressor and then sometimes more uh, for the installation. So depending on the type of equipment, um, how much refrigerant you need. So definitely check with your company, your HVAC technician, call him today, find out if you have a starting apparatus. If you don't, then you need to get one. If, you're, if yours hasn't been checked in three or four years, your lights are dimming, this could be the cause. This guy, this guy's can help you so much in the field. Now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install this hard start kit or relay and start capacitor all in one on this air conditioning system. Before we do it, we're gonna take a look at the uh, service facts on the side of the cover panel for the electrical components. All right, so this right here is the compressor inside the equipment. You can see it right there. And this is the service facts. And it says right here, 
For compressor, 230 volts, single phase, 60 hertz. It says run load amps is 13. So you can expect that when you check the current draw, when the equipment's running, it's gonna be running around 10, 12, 13 amps. But locked rotor amps is 74. So it's gonna take 74 amps uh, is what the current draw is gonna be when the equipment comes on, right? And that's a lot. Now let's get a backup view here of this equipment. And I'm gonna take off these three screws. Now equipment, you know, certain equipment, depending on what it is, is gonna be, it may be a little bit harder. Always disconnect the power because you need to make sure that you're safe. All right, now, look at this. Two wires, literally, two wires. All right, first wire is gonna go on the common, or I'm sorry, the hermetic terminal. And the other one's go, gonna go on the common. Like that right there, look at that. Wow, guys, that was so hard. Literally, it took me five minutes. Put the cover back, panel back on, and we're done. But you do need to have an HVAC technician, a professional do this, uh, just for liability issues, uh, just for your safety. And there's also other components like the contactor that can be checked as well, just to make sure that it's working properly. The contactor sends voltage to the compressor. So if we have carbon buildup and it's not sending the right voltage, Another thing is, when I told you to check max overcurrent protection on the service fax on your equipment, it's very important. See, max fuse or max circuit breaker, 30. So you need to make sure that the breaker size is right. You need to make sure the wire size is right. That's another thing that can cause um, issues with the compressor uh, as well as your lights dimming. You don't have the right uh, wire size, and that can be a safety hazard as well so making sure that your wire is sized properly this is 30 amps number 10 wire is what we got here so that's perfect that will work um, just fine all right guys thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button and definitely look forward to giving you guys more information about your air conditioning system this is tad with tips for homeowners reminding you i'll keep you cool if you let me